Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Sunday, November the 6th, 2016. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. So your message is this, a little continuation on yesterday about kind of like getting in people's business and interrupting things or their lives or their journey or their path or their lessons or their involvement. Um, and it is this, we often want to interrupt or try to stop others who are in pain because it often shows us where we haven't dealt with our own pain or we didn't heal our own pain. So sometimes, and this is this is the, the conundrum a lot of times, you know, when I see an animal in need, you know, is it is it my part of my journey to to help, to take in, to foster, um, or is it somebody else's, you know, I mean, and this, you know, you can nitpick this all apart, but you know, or, or someone, you know, when I see someone on Facebook and they are reaching out or crying out, you know, is it my, is it my part of my, you know, karma and dharma at that moment to help them? Or is this the pain they've got experience to go through? You know, so it is, a, it is a challenge oftentimes, but this is where I just go back to, all right, spirit, do I, do I jump in or not? And if I get a resounding yes, I go help. If I get a no, I don't. I send them, I send a high vibration to them, you know, because it's, it's, for me, it's like back when I was drinking myself silly, and nobody can tell me it ain't good. It's like a smoker. You can't get a smoker to quit. You know, they know it's not good for them. They have to be the one that works out of that. And there's a reason. You never know what the karma or the dharma is for them. It may be to experience what it's like not to have breath because in the past life, they took the breath away from so many people. You know, it could be what so they could experience what it feels like to, to unfortunately die a slow and painful death. Is that awful and gross? Yeah, but this is what I believe we're here for, is to experience as much as we can. And part of that experience is pain and loss and death and hurt. And once you can get to the point where you realize you're here to experience as, as wide a contrast as you can, then I think that's when life starts becoming you know, just more beautiful. Um, and you, you can ease into it more peacefully. Um, just watch the animals. You know, they don't whine and complain as they're coming to the end of their life. They do what they need to do. They often go off and sit alone. You know, they, they often just find their quiet place and, and, and move into the next lifetime. So there's your um, lesson, which was a tough one for me to hear and deliver. So you never know. You never know what someone needs to go through, is supposed to go through, can go through. You know, don't, don't thwart that effort, but trust your gut when you know you need to step in or not. All right, cards and numbers and energy for the next couple of days, including Tuesday, Election Day. So today, all the numbers add up to eight. That is the number that brings with it the energy of success, of power, material wealth. Um, ooh, cards are flying out. Let me put that back in. Shuffle authority, you know, business and finance. Lenormand is going to be the mountain, which is 21. The mountain can often be an obstacle, something to get up and over, something immovable, um, a challenge. And terror to go along with it is the four of coins. So I would say this is in and around family, home, money, resources, and finances. And the four of coins is very stable, solid. Sometimes the four of coins wants to hold on to a mine, 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 mine. I don't believe I have enough. I got to hold on to what I have saved. If I let it go, I'll never get it back again. And that could be your mountain to climb today. That could be your challenge. Know that we got an eight energy day, which says you will be successful. You have enough. You have an abundance. Tomorrow, all the numbers add up to nine. That's an ending. <laughs> That's a transformation. Day before election day here in the USA. So what do the cards say? Lenormand says key 33, and three times three is nine. Um, and the key is the answer. The key is the key. It unlocks, it opens, um, it helps transform and change. Tara, to go along with that key is number three of cups. Three, three, and three on a nine day. Three of cups is about party, celebration, joy. Um, it's very, it's, it's just fun. Get together with your friends, you know, cut loose, um, live in a little more high vibration. And that's on a nine day. And then Tuesday, Election Day here in the U.S., that all the numbers boil down to one, which is starts, beginnings. It's the masculine principle. It's, it's leadership. It's innovation, which is, you know, all of ooh, what's going on on Tuesday. Lenormand to go along with it is the whip, 11. And the whip is often over and over and over. It's arguments. It's fussing and fighting. It's berating. Um, it's repetition, chronic pain. It, you know, physical activities. It can be about sex. Um, and that, I think that's fitting for the day. And then tear to go along with it. I mean, yeah, tear to go along with it. Eight of coins. 
again, a number eight. And this is long, hard working hours. You know, so this could be that the, you know, the election is going to take a long time to get it like completed. And there's going to be over and over and over and over counting repetition. And, you know, if you've ever survived uh, election night, the TV, the commercials, everything that's going on, the over the reporting, reporting, reporting over and over and over, it does make a lot of sense for me. Um, uh, and it's interesting because you take the terror number eight and 11, you add that up, it's back to 10, back to one. So a lot, a lot, a lot of starts and beginnings that day. So there is your message for today, tomorrow, and Tuesday. Um, I am off to Kennedy Space Center today with Fabian. I'm happy we got a day off together, so we're going to go do something fun. I've never been. He's been a few times. Um, check out the Get Out of a Rut spread. It's the special this month. I believe it's $20, and you get it delivered back to you in a YouTube video. You can watch over as much as you want. Prepare and plan for December because I will make the full spread, which is 12 cards, one per month for next year, followed up with the secondary card. The first card is like, okay, here's what the month is going to bring. Second card is like, here's how you can navigate it. Here's how you can best, you know, work through that energy. And it's a cool spread because then it lasts you the entire year and you get to check it out. So that'll be starting in December. And I like to get all those done before the end of the year. So plan accordingly. Um, Namaste. Check out my website, intuitivemitchell.com. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.